we're gonna try another Japanese candy again. And this is sushi. And yeah, you basically make a, a sushi, a sushi um, bar thing, which I'm very excited about. So let's do it. And if you saw my last one with like the dropper, this one has the dropper again, if you see them. I hope it goes well this time because you know if you didn't see my other video you know what what happened. It, it rather it build. So let's hope it doesn't do that today with this one. So yeah. So here is the box for Shishi. And first you want to open it. Instructions are on the back. First you open it, you get it like this, open the packet, also shows you how to do it, get the little plastic containers out, first you get this packet, which has number 2 on it, and you get this spoon, you get the big container that it comes in, and there's lots of little dividers, you get the dropper, you get um you get the sushi um which is this is candy but it's used for the seaweed to wrap around sushi to make it sushi I mean and then you get these A and B powders and you also get the two other powders as well and you get one more powder which is this one and all the containers are labelled 1 A B and these are for the to make the salmon texture of the salmon and all the um, tuna with sashi number one if you want to it up here and I'm gonna put it in number one which is here oh some still going to that one get that one and you put it in here and you mix it like this This will make the rice. If that happens, it will happen. I think this add more water until it add a little bit more to it until it is all looking a bit like that there I can't do anything with it you can always add more water later next you'll add sachet 2 into this one Where's the sachet Oh, I'm so confused. Okay, hang on. One minute. No. At least sushi two, which is this one. And uh, send it here. Then you get your dropper again. <laughs> and you put it in some water. I got cut. A mug full of water because it's easier. Put that and then you add a couple of drops in here. Let's like turn yellow. And I'm gonna mix it all in just to make sure that it's actually doing what it's supposed to. Okay, the one. Which is 
mix them and you cut the top open like that. And you pour it into this one here. Then again with the dropper, again with the dropper, put water in it. Again, you mix it. And you want to put that to the side. You want to get the... Where's it gone? You want to get the sushi. Sushi. The um, this out of the mud. I'll just cut it in. But before you get this out, and roll it out, which you can if you want to, but you can just go on to A and B. No. Especially to get this ready for a bit. So first you want to get it out. And you want to make it manageable. So you can do this and this and this until you make a certain size. And the size this here on the packet is the size guide. And cut it out. Might be better if you cut it out. You wanna get it inside this size now. Mine couldn't quite long enough, so if you just wanna get a bit more long. Now it's very sticky. Cough it's candy. Is it long enough now? Is it long enough but it's not particularly neat is it? So just gonna make it a bit more neater. So there you go. Now that could be you put that over to one side here. You bring this back over and you wanna get the A and B packets. Tear them off. Tear them off. I want to turn this around because it would be easier. Put the B in B and put A in A. And again with your dropper, Ooh, with your dropper, you're gonna get the water and you want to put it on that one and get another one, put it in that one, like that. And you want to get your spoon. You want to mix it in. Now this will become the salmon eggs. Just wanna. I hope this one works because you know the other one did not really work very well. So I hope this one will work. And you put the once you get the the dropper completely empty of water. You 
you want to suck this one up in here. Oh no. You want to suck. You want to squeeze the thing and put it in that one. I hope it works. Okay. This is the test one. Oh, hope it works. If it doesn't, I'll soon realise. Oh, has that one worked? Has that one worked? Has that one worked? Yes, that one has worked. Yeah, we've got it to work. Okay. No, this one I do the same with dress. Yeah, I don't think I have enough water here. Here we go. Is it me? I think this is a little bit too much. Not enough water. Okay. So I, I, I made it worse now. Uh, okay, okay. Not even with us. We are going to make this right. We need salmon eggs. They're not really a bit like um half hatched um. Salmon eggs, don't they? But they work. Let's put those in there. Put the salmon eggs in this one over here. It's actually working this time, I'm happy. Okay, uh, that wasn't very really good. Need to let them out one by one. Sorry, which um, is not really my facility. So we're gonna have one very large salmon egg. I probably need, I know. I'm just gonna put those in there. Puffy, it's like squidgy. Okay, okay. We're going to do this. Okay. Oh, it feels like rice. It does, it really does. Oh, this is so funny. I'm so excited. Okay, get some, get your rice. Ah, seaweed, get your rice and your rice. Not like this. Your pit, your pit, and your. Take a look. Like that. Like that. I made my first little sushi. Okay, and then you get the salmon eggs that you've made. You scoop them up like this. And you put them on the chop. Okay, please don't fall. I made my first little bit of sushi! I'm so happy about myself. Look at that. That was pretty really good. I'm so pleased. Okay, let's try it. Yes, the salmon eggs. Oh, worked well. The uh, rice is very fluffy and soft and very nice. And yeah, the, uh, the seaweed. It's not actually seaweed, but go with me on this. The seaweed is like very um what is it? Next we're gonna do the rice. Get the rice. Go because I don't wanna get it. Get the rice, right? We have the rice. Then you get the either the salmon or the tuna. You wanna Make, cook 
because it's like textured on the bottom here you see that you just want to press it down I think this is what you do you press it down and you just slowly lift it up I think this is my method I don't actually know if it's right but we'll try and make this into a little need more ice more ice Okay, we need more ice. There we go. See? Make that into a little square. Get the tuna. Oh no! Get the tuna and place it on. Now you see, it has a little bit of the texture of the tuna. I think because I didn't press it down very hard. But it has a little bit of the texture on it. Just a little bit of the texture on it. Yeah. Again, I like the rise. I think the uh, I think the um the rice is nice. And the tuna's quite nice as well. So it's all very gummy obviously because it's candy. So that's a bit of rice now. I have a bit more and a bit more tuna. But I only have a little bit more uh, of this one. I can't remember what you call this one. Oh, I'm so bad. Okay, so again press it down into the mould is that what I'm doing? you can't see it in the camera but that's what I'm doing lift it up get some in don't stay on but it tries to oh yeah that one works a bit more works much better see the pattern a bit more yeah okay I have to say it tastes sour. Anyway, I have a bit left. A bit left of everything. But that's messy it. So that's messy it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I did. There was a lot of packets in that. Um, please like and subscribe and comment and all that good stuff. And um, yeah. Can I say and see ya?